drinking, writing. And them same people, when they see that you're, that you're not doing it, they think that you're strange, man. They think, they think that you're hostile. They think you're more of a hostile character. And they start speaking evil of you. This guy, he thinks he's better. I'm not, I'm not used to be that at university. My university, them white boys kept telling me, oh yeah, how come you don't want to go out with us, man? I said, how come I don't have my passport, man? And I kept telling them that because they saying, I don't have my passport. And they were like, that's because you think you're better than us. How come you don't want to go out first? <laughs> and I was like, first, and I, 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 most I was always preparing me to, to not be like the rest of the people, man. And this was before I came in the truth. When I, when I came out, I was like, most I was always kept me as a loner. I was always a loner, man. Go back to our first group. I'm back in 1 Corinthians 2 and 12, and it says, Now we have received not the spirit of the world, but the spirit which is of the Most High, that we might know the things that are freely given to us of the Most High, which things also we speak. Not in the words which man's wisdom teaches, but which the Holy Spirit teaches, comparing spiritual things with spiritual. Verse 14, but the, but the natural man receiveth not the things of the Spirit of the Most High, for they are foolishness unto him, neither can he know them, because they are spiritual descent. But he that is spiritual judges all things, yet he himself is judged of no man. For who have known the mind of, of, of the Lord, that he may instruct him? But we have the mind of Yahweh Shai. This is, this is basically like the building blocks of how the Mosaic come to bring him back together. His kingdom, you know, by first putting it in their minds to do his will. And that's why you see brothers out here in the highways and byways teaching, man, instructing other brothers that are still in the world to come out of the world and to repent, man. Because your salvation depends on whether you receive the thing that we say or whether you reject it. If you reject it, you won't be saved, you'll be destroyed, man. Alright? And if you receive it, hope say it, hope say it is saved, man. This is Romans 11, verse 33, and it says, All the depths of the riches, both of wisdom and knowledge of the Most High, how unsearchable are His judgments, and His ways past finding out. Right, because you understand? It's, that's why people can't get this truth, man, because the Most High, His intention, His agenda is past finding out, man, if you're of the world. You can't understand it. It's gonna be like rocket science, man. You, you, you can't understand why the most side would bring one people to be the wicked and another people to be the righteous. Because you're gonna have some way to gain say that. You're gonna say, oh, 
But we're all wicked at the end of the day, you know. I know niggas that are wicked too, you know. They're all good white people right there. <laughs> well, we're all human beings. You no. Know? I believe that white people can be grafted in. Yeah. <laughs> you niggas, man. I saw you know? the guy last week and he lost it, man. You guys are racist. You guys are racist. <laughs> he lost it, man. You couldn't. You can't figure. You, you know, you can't figure it out, man. All the all white people. Got, you told that woman said all white people go to hell. I saw she came. She was defending us, first, defending us. Yeah. And then when he said that to her, yeah, then she came screaming. <laughs> what do you mean all white people go to hell? <laughs> yeah, we all going to hell. You racist. You racist. Yeah. You racist. You racist. But anything, anything that the society brainwash people. They always believe it. Because society tells them that. Or the race is racist. Red ten ten. You know? First and foremost, the most has a racist, man. Why do you think there's different races of people on the planet? But we are all different. We're all the same. If you were all the same, you would all look the same. We we'll would all look black or we we'll would all look white if you're we'll all the same. There's a reason why there's different races of people. You got the East Indian them, you have the Arab, you have the Arabian people, the Oriental people, so called. Then you have the different, you know what I'm saying, tribal Hamites, man. Alright? You have the, the Pacific Island people. You have different people that look different, you have different languages, different culture, you see, different history. So we're all different. Talking about we were the same. You know? When you unify people, that means you're destroying, you know what I'm saying? You're, you're, you're destroying the idea of, the, of there being other people. Because they're trying to unify them. Trying to make you trying to trying to merge them. Like a hybrid. You know? They're trying to get rid of unique races. That's the, that's the, that's the agenda of, of you so-called European man. Go ahead, man. That's why it was a, it was a curse for us to be scattered among these heathens and look like them, man. It was, a, it was a curse. Yeah. <laughs> it was a curse, man. <laughs> to begin with. Yeah. Tony, we're not supposed to look like the other nation, man. And we're supposed to be separated. If I get that, bro. Oh, hold that, hold okay, it. If I read that, give me that verse. Uh, Romans 11 and 33, and it says, All the depths of the riches, both of the wisdom and knowledge of the Most High, how unsearchable are his judgments and his ways past finding out. You see that, man, because people, they just can't understand it, man. Because the only thing that they know is we're all human beings. It's always the low IQ of the people, man. It's either that or there's a denial. The people are, they're not stupid. They're not suffered or nothing. They're just, they're just in denial, man. It's human nature. They, they deny the truth. And the most I put a spirit up on them to, to believe a lie. You know? His ways are past finding out. And some people can't understand the concept that free will. Alright? Now everyone's controlled by prophecy. And let's show you that your ways are not in, in your own hand. Your ways are in the, in the hand of the Most High. Which means that you should fear. That's why you should fear the Lord. Because you never know, say, what will happen. What type of spirit the Most High put in your mind. You never know what will happen. Because the Most High in control of destiny. That's why it's called predestined. That's where you get the word predestiny. Most of pre premeditate your destiny. You see it? Because you are destined 
whatever you was destined to do was already pre 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 uh pre thought on. See it? It's all spiritual, man. It's all spiritual. That's why that's why the brother read in Romans 9 they say oh, how can a thing form say why did you, why did thou make me thus? Because the most I create you to be whatever it is that I'm creating you for to do. See it? That Esau, you ain't really look at pale self, man. Pale. The most I made you to be pale. To have no melanin. For a reason. See it? Because you are the, the, the embodiment of death. You know, lifelessness. Decay. Corruption. That's what you embody. That's what you you are. You you are represent. You are you are cursed, man. A cursed people. Uh, verse 34 For who have known the mind of, of the Most High, of the Lord, or who have, who have been his counselor, or who have first given to him, and they shall be recompensed unto him again. For of him and through him and to him are all things, to whom be the glory forever. Amen. Says, oh, the depth of, of the riches of wisdom, man. It's deep, man. It's not this, it's not this simple thing of just, just looking at something and just judging the base of what you see. You gotta look beyond that, man. Beyond what you physically see and see more spiritually. Walk in the spirit.
So Galatians 5 and 19 and it says now the works of the flesh are manifest which are these adultery, fornication, uncleanness, lasciviousness, idolatry, witchcraft, hatred, variance, emulation, wrath, strife, sedition, heresies, uh, envy, murders, drunkenness, revelings, and such and such like of the which I tell you before, as I have also told you in time past, that they which do that they which do such things shall not inherit the kingdom of the Most High. As, as the other thing on the flesh, man, the people that are sub uh, created in vain. That's the thing that they're subject to or, point, or appointed to. All right. Good. Um, verse 22 But the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, long suffering, gentleness, goodness, faith, meekness, temperance. Temperance against such things, against such there is no law. And they that are, are Yahawashais have crucified the flesh with the affection and lust. If we live in the Spirit, let us also walk in the spirit. Let us not be desirous of the of, of vain glory, provoking one another, envying one another. So this is is it's all spiritual, man. Okay. The reason why I brought when I verse out is because. Well, once you realize the, the intent of the Most High, you're gonna have to be more spiritual, man. You're more, you're more relaxed. But you see why everything is, man. The reason why people them have been created, what their, what their destiny is, man, to be slaves, man. And you see it happening, man. You see how the people are this inferior, man. Now we're supposed to be ruling over them. That, that over time, the most I brought us down. He brought us down, man, from our sovereignty and brought weaker nations up over us, to rule over us. See these nations, man, they're proud. I don't think about the most, eh? People think we're just chatting shit and screwing out here, man. They, they roll their eyes at us and everything, man. But they wouldn't even trust in They trust in their, their, their muscles, man. They trust in their cars, man. That's what they take seriously, but they don't take the word of, of the Bible seriously. They don't take the, the prophet seriously. But they will in the kingdom, man. I'm telling you. In the kingdom, all nations will respect the Bible, man. The Bible will be law in the kingdom. I'm telling you. It will be law. Everything in, inside the Bible will be law written law and if anybody anybody transgress will be executed man I'm telling you right now people laugh at the scripture they roll their eyes and take it for joke man no one respects the volume of this book the spirit of Yahweh when the kingdom they will man Nations will bow down to the scriptures, man. We got second in. Ready to get our umbrella out.
that second Ezra 9 and 1 and he says and he answered me then and said measure thou the time diligent, diligently in itself and when thou seest part of the signs past which I have told thee before then shalt thou understand that it is it is the very same time where in the highest will begin to visit the world which has which he made then then thou shalt understand that, uh, second Ezra 9 and 1 Uh, second Ezra uh, 9 and 1 and he says and he answered me then and said Measure thou the time diligently in itself. Right, so you say measure thou the time diligently. Okay. Diligent meaning you mean you be on point man. You know, on your watch. I mean it's difficult because like I said, we're in the flesh. In the flesh always longs to relax man, you always want to relax and especially when after you get a hard day's work man, you want to relax and chill especially brothers that have sicknesses like myself you know, you'll find yourself often time in a, in, a, in a situation where your flesh needs to relax man or if you were in constantly working and doing this and doing that you probably go into a, a relapse man because this society is based upon slavery, man, but condition the people to make them think that they're not slaves. You know, give them a little bit of freedom and say, listen, yeah, on Friday, you have your Friday night, you have your, your weekends where you can party and go to the club and the restaurant and, you know, go out with your woman, right? Have a little bit of family time. But for the rest of the time, you're on the plantation. Slaving, man. Some brothers have to do physical labor. But your body is tired, man. Your body needs to rest, man. But even so, you should they say that you, know, you, should, you should be on your watch still. You meant to be on your watch. Okay, on the news. And you should, you should want to be on the news because things are happening, man. Things are popping off. Yeah? What kind of things are happening? And then the people are just turning a blind eye to. They're still thinking about what they're going to do. In the, in, the, in the next 20 years time and they, they, they don't want to accept the fact that they have a, an appointed time, they don't have much time left and the society doesn't have much time left man see me? that's why I said measure out of time because the most size is controlling everything the scripture says the power of the earth is in the hand of the Lord so everything happened according to his will you know, the scripture say, who have resisted his will? See, your, your intention or your ambition is not going to uh, 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 cut out the Most High's ambition. The Most High ambition is to take down the white man world, man, and to establish his kingdom, his heavenly, holy kingdom on the earth, man. And, and before and before that is actualized, he will set forth certain signs, man, for you to know that we're near that time. Good, man. Good. It's uh, Habakkuk one, two, and one, and it says, "I will stand upon my watch and set me upon the tower, and I will watch to see what he will say unto me, and what I should." And what I shall answer when, he, when, when I am approved. Okay, but when I am reproved, Saraki. Okay. Yo, 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 yo. You say yo. Good. Remember me? Remember me? 
I'm, I'm here talking about all these things like I'm the perfect, I'm a perfect man, I, I go off at time man. When I say I go off, I mean, hey man, I, I'm a keep it real man. There's this woman here, yeah? I saw her the other, this, this week, and she married them, two kids. But she be hitting on me bare time, and, and, and every, every time she tell me to take down a number, take down a number, I know it's a deal. I know it's just, I know it's saying that's a goal. But lately, I ain't gonna lie, I've been getting that feeling. And I see her again this week. And I went up to her. I think that a number. And you know what I did? I sent her a text. And now, I'm gonna split it with the deal. I'm gonna delete her number when I go home. So now, because you didn't respond to me. See how the spirit can make you want to do things. But in my mind, I'm thinking, imagine, imagine if I did, why not see you do that? I'd be ashamed, you know, but how could I feel so hard? This woman, she's, she's not a black woman, she's a woman of Arab. In the kingdom, I'd have to live with the fact that I committed adultery, man. And I've never committed adultery in my life. I've never did that. I've been tempted to many on many occasions, not to be proud. But I have been tempted naturally in this society when a woman jump on you. The reason why she's jumping upon you because she, she um she's not single, she has a husband. And she, she has a boyfriend or something like that, but boyfriend not. She's displeased. For a current man. Or well, she doesn't like them. She doesn't like being on lockdown. She wanna be free. She wants to be young again. Now most women that come to jump on me, she usually have a bag of children. She have like two children or something. Like three children. That's one thing I know based on the experience. When a woman show interest on me that couple of showing signals because she has children. <laughs> So like I said, even brothers that we out here teaching this truth, we have our own situation where we get tempted, man. So when we out here preaching like we're, per we're, not, we're not perfect, man. we go off, man. Um, not deliberately, but um, we get tempted. That's what I mean by going off. We get tempted, man. You know what I'm saying? We, sometimes the most I have put, up, put us in a situation to test our integrity. Because it's because because we're in hell, we've been in hell for so long. Some brothers have been deprived of certain needs. So should I say, even sexual needs? That's what I mean. So when the the the, the occasions arise for you to appease those needs, you feel like to want to jump at it. But sometimes you have to hold back and say, listen, if I jump at this occasion to appease my needs. Is it is it a sin? And usually, because we're in such a wicked society, more time in it is going to be a sin, man. Usually, this woman has a husband, or she's talking to another man, or some other wickedness, man. But, uh, all right. So, women today, a lot of them are never really single. 